What is poppin'? What's good? We're back at it when I get to the yell. Let's get it. Uh, let's go. So let me just say first, I am in love with this hairstyle. Ready? So let's get into it. If I want to see how. That's how it went for me trying this hairstyle out from Pinterest. Then stay tuned for today's video. Yes, this is a part one, you could say. I might start a trend of this, of trying new hairstyles from Pinterest. This is just a true corn roll hairstyle. A slant into a low puff. Very slick and curly. But yeah, stay tuned to see how it went. If I have any fails with attempting this hairstyle. And let's get straight into this video. So to start off the process of doing this and trying out this new hairstyle, I need to refresh this hair of mine. I had my hair in and my other hairstyle in for a week with gel and product and just been in. So I don't know probably more than a week but i still need to refresh my hair so i'm finna shower and i guess i'm gonna just co-wash my hair but i'm using the aunt jackie's now my watch instead of tangling therapy so co-wash just gonna rinse my hair and put that in and then i'll be back this is what my hair is looking like afterwards yep i just stuck it back in the bun now we're finna oil my hair and detangle it. This is a wet brush for in the shower, but since my hair is still wet, or I'm gonna use it. All we're doing is detangling, putting up in some twists and taking them down out this part because I'm not gonna need it anymore. This is how my hair looks. Yep, it's still damp and it still has the product in it because I don't want to rinse it all out. Natural curls are here. I'm going to my hair like this. It feels so good. So we're fresh. This will be good for a claw clip hairstyle, but we're not doing that. I'm just really trying to get rid of this metal part. And now we're just going to take a section of our hair, starting from the back, and put it into the side. We have this. Small little section, not trying to do them too big.
in my up my hair. I'm gonna just pull them like the actual twist of them. I'm probably gonna wrap these up with a hair tie and then put a scarf on top and put my bonnet on. But right now, I'm gonna just leave them down without putting a scarf or nothing on. And I'll see y'all in the morning because this is actually Saturday night. I'm doing prepping my hair because I'm going to church tomorrow. So, yeah, hair is oiled. So, Saturday looking. Yup. Nice twist. Could be a bottom twist out, but we're not going for that either. I'm going to take these donkey twists out. Oh, whatever. I'm not taking them out with oil, but I'm just taking them out. They stick to the back of my head. Some of them still got moisture, some of them don't. And yep, we're finishing off, or we're about to start the actual trying this hairstyle, Pinterest hairstyle. And I have it on the screen. I have the idea on the screen for y'all. It's actually a video form and not picture. But I have another person that actually also did this hairstyle that I wanted to try out from TikTok. She actually goes to my school. But this is the hair out. It's looking mighty crazy in this standpoint. But the so the Pinterest idea I'm doing is right here. It's something similar to the other hairstyle I showed y'all before where I had two flat twists and my hair up. But this is two cornrows, which I really don't like doing cornrows because they don't come out right. I can never grip the hair when adding the strands down the side of my hair. And it's in a low bun or a low puff. So that's the hairstyle I'm going to be attempting today. And what I need is gel i'm gonna be using the eco solo one i just got this like a week ago but it hasn't been open yet instead of using my extreme one i'm gonna use this a brush of y2 comb just if i need it and a parting comb i might need bobby pins might not don't know yet and i need a scrunchie where well, i need to give me some more black tie scrunchies but for right now i just have this green one so let me put that on my to do list to go get some new scrunchies. And that's basically it. I'm gonna start off by just detangling or running through, running this comb through real quick. Not trying to um, take out the curls, just trying to give it some stretch. So I'm gonna take my parting comb. And I already have a middle part, but I don't need a middle part, I need a side part. And the sad part I'm going to do is from my right. Just made the line first and then went in with the slant. About uh, this size, a little off at the tip, at the part. And then I just put the back up and get out of my way. I'm gonna start off with the slant part first and see how that braiding go off. Well, not entirely sure yet how it will be. Hope it come out right because I'm going to church. I need my hair done. But I have a good enough time just to get my hair done get dressed and stuff this is when the gel comes in 
or whatever products you want to use. I'm using gel. I haven't used Eco Sour Gel in a hot minute. But I'm just going to rub a little bit through. Out. Not too much, but a good amount. And then I'm going to just like slick down the side. I came in a little closer to show y'all exactly what I'm doing. I just sectioned off the first piece of my hair. For cornrows, they have three sections. So, I, three sections of my hair. I'm going to braid one for two times. And now I have this one to my left. I'm going to grab some hair, pull it towards that. And do the same. Have the middle section. Now to my left. I'm gonna pull some hair. Get a little fuzzy. Switch the side. Pull some more hair. Now I'm gonna keep doing this till I get to the bottom. I don't know. That looks a hot mess. I don't like that. So far, no, that did not come out great. That did not come out great at all. I don't know how y'all be braiding your hair. It's not all that bad. It's just like that I want it more back instead of forward. So I'm going to try to get this right and come back. So I got a little technique for me. I have to go ahead and section off. I just like rope them down in this first little section. You don't have to be clean. You put break into three. Just start your bra. Start the braid off. Then I'll grab this one to grab this section. It's much easier to grip. And then I'll keep doing it. I'll keep doing it all the way down. <laughs> Yeah, I just left a little bit of hair. When I put it back, it's like kind of blended in more. You can see, I told y'all about all that perfect. Y'all see that little peak at the top? Braids are good though. Now, just working on the back. It's like a real simple hairstyle to do. This can also be a protective style. Because now my two puffs. I come with protective style because I don't be doing it every day, redoing them every day for school, whatnot. Throw that stuff up and then wrap it at night. Wrapping it at night really helps because all that fuzz and fuzz won't come. You can even wear it like this to twist it up. I will probably have more braids. That's another hairstyle. They have more braids, but I only can braid the front of my hair for right now. And then they got a little twist out braid out in the back. Real cute. Real cute. Now I'm going to just put the back of my hair to section. Sometimes I section off my hair when I'm doing my little puffs. But I am this time. And just pinning this up. So I might put this on now or after. But I'm probably going to put this section on now. But I have my, as I am twisting the final cream, make my curls a little curly. Don't know how it's going to react to this gel. That's why I said that. Put it before or after. Just ranking that through. It might, it might really help afterwards. 
But I have my little section. Hair grabs from gel. Not a lot. No. And just like that there. I'll try to slick it down as best as possible. Have no other products I use. Sometimes y'all use um edge control or something. Make it more slick. What? That little fuzzy look doesn't bother me. Um oh I just use my sponge, so I gotta get a new one. No, I'm gonna use a rubber band. Instead of having multiple scrunchies in my hair. I have two rubber bands. I'm gonna tie that up. That's how that's looking. Ooh, some curls are popping, some are not. Um, I'm gonna probably section this off again. So I had to do three little sections to this. something because i really never tried that before but this little mixture is making my curls pop a little more than usual <laughs> to be group that hair I'm grouping a little hard <laughs> as y'all can see so this is the final look probably but I feel like this braid is about to come out or it is because it's very short I'm reaching a bun like this side here this is when the barbie pin come in if you need it just barbie pin the bottom the bottom of it to the braid. But my hair is really slick. Can't believe I got it like that. You know, I might be seeing more videos. My hair, natural hair content like this. Final part is I'm going to add some more curling cream. It's a little flat at the top, but still good. I'm not going to pick it out that much because it's also stretching the top of the top of the um, slip back. We get our oil, pop the cap, get all the roots, or the little slant right there. How much is all the size of my hair as well? Real cute. Make sure you get the other side because I'm a squid guy. So this is the final look officially. I'm gonna have to wipe my neck off with all the products on there. But I think I did really good for recreating this hairstyle. This is the image. This is what it came out to be. My braids will probably get longer as the week goes on as I have my hair. Because this side I had to pin back up. It was not even in the wrap. Me here. Don't like that had to go all the way up. I kind of wish it was like following the line, but this one follows the line real good to the back. This might be a new summer hairstyle I'll be trying or be doing this summer. And if you wanted to do that cloud clip, 
Can I saw look? Just to pin that up a little bit. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I did creating it. And I'll see y'all in my next video. We out.